Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to finally weekly check in for both week one as well as week two of my February monthly budget. Now this video is going to be pretty crazy because there's so many things that I have to obviously track in my budget planner. I just feel like it's going to be a long video because I also have to set up my weekly check-in pages and kind of go through everything that has been happening the past two weeks. I did want to film a week one check-in, but there just was not any time last week for me. And so I just decided to combine both week one as well as week two in one video, which I hope you guys don't mind, but I will be going over all of my spending for week one as well as week two, as I mentioned. And I do have something to talk to you guys about because I haven't been on camera really. It's been kind of crazy because as you guys know, this month is my birthday month. So I'm trying to definitely do more things that I like. And a lot of that has to do with like shopping, buying myself clothes, getting ready, taking pictures and just feeling all around better about myself. And so I'm sorry if I haven't really been posting as many videos as I typically would in any other month, but I'm really trying to do the things that I like the most this month since it is my birthday month. I don't know. I'm definitely trying to make the most out of this month and I hope you guys don't mind. I know a lot of you guys don't, but just wanted to, I guess, catch up with you guys on what's been happening. But okay, so I think first I'll go ahead and set up my weekly check-in pages here. So for those, I will be using my roses washi and my weekly check-in kit that correlates with this. So let me quickly set this up and then I'll go ahead and break up my weeks for you guys. But February was actually a perfect week when it comes to breaking up the weeks for me just because as you guys know i like to weekly check in from monday through sunday so it just worked out perfectly that the first was on a monday and so on and so forth so week one is going to be from the first until the seventh and then week two is going to be from the eighth until the 14th and so on and so forth but let me set this up really quickly all right so i'm just gonna white these out gonna wipe all this writing out just so that I have a blank slate and then I will do my washi down here or up here and my weekly check-in so I will be having let's see one two three four weeks this month so my last little section is not going to be a week five but it is actually going to be a results week which is what i did for january as well so it's going to be exactly the same thing we are still going and working with the new weekly check-in that i sell in my shop which has a section for you to roll over money so let's Go ahead and lay everything down. Now that I have everything laid down, which I should probably zoom out a little bit. I feel like I always zoom in so much. I think I'm quickly going to one by one lay down my expenses because as you guys can see I have quite a few of them and we'll go ahead and still weekly check in for week one and week two separately just because I do like to be organized in that way. I could if I wanted to just weekly check in for just both of the weeks in market in week two but i want everything to be filled out and i don't know if i'm the only weird one who likes to do it like that but that's just how i'm gonna do it so week one like i mentioned is going to be from the first until the seventh and i obviously can't spell seventh but that's that week two is from the eighth until the 14th so Monday through Sunday. Week three will be from the 15th until the 21st. 
and week four will be from the 22nd until the end of the month, which will be the 28th. And then my results, it's just going to have a little results script right there. And then for categories, if you guys would have seen my cash envelope stuffing and like the beginning videos that I like to get up for my budget in the beginning of the month, then you guys would know that I'm doing groceries a little bit different this month because I do have a rebate card. And so I was debating whether I still wanted to weekly check in with that since I'm practically using a card for that or if I wanted to include it in the weekly check-ins. But I think just so that everything is a lot more not only organized, but so that I have an idea of how much I'm spending each week because I'm really trying to lower my grocery spending throughout the months this year. I'm still going to weekly check in for it. It's just going to be a little bit different because sometimes let's say I'll get, I'll grab groceries from Target and that I'll pay with my Target red card. And then other times when I go to like, let's say Aldi or like my local grocery store, I'll use the card. So it's kind of been a little bit of an adjustment and the only thing that keeps me going really is that I'm not going to have to do it the next couple of months. It's just like a one month thing. So that's why I'm kind of sticking to it. But it's, it has been hard, um, not only with like the card, but also with like my smaller cash envelopes. And although I really, really do love them and I love keeping them in my pocket planner, they're so chunky right now because of the amount of like smaller bills that I have in here. And then you guys know that I also separated and have a little tips cash envelope here too, which kind of got me off track with my eating out a little bit. So it's still, you know, a learning process for me, but I'm hoping that as the weeks go by, I kind of get a little bit more used to having pocket size cash envelopes instead of having the regular size. Because of course, pocket size cash envelopes means that I can put it in my pocket planner and that it can fit in most of my purses. Whereas if I were to have in my wallet, I would have to have kind of like a bigger purse to carry those in. I think everything just has pros and cons, but my categories are going to be as always groceries. I have, I'm gonna put eating out first. Then household, beauty. Then I have allowance. I'm just going based on the order of my cash envelopes. I have gas and budgeted. Like so for any unbudgeted expenses. So I'm just going to write those in for the second week as well. And I'm probably or most likely going to fast forward me laying down my budget expense stickers. So then the last thing that I'm gonna do is on the very first week, at least for me, is when I roll over all of my cash from the month prior. So some categories did end up getting some rollover money. I believe groceries didn't or allowance because I have a gro an allowance sinking fund cash envelope. I don't think gas did either, and of course, neither did unbudgeted. So the only categories that got rollover amounts or eating out, so let me just check my little expense trackers. I've been having all of my expenses, if you guys are new to my channel, in these expense trackers. So I really like um, having everything in my pocket planner. It's just very, very chunky at the moment. That would be my only, not complain, but concern. So household got $4, eating out got $27, and then the rollover amount for beauty was $45. So a pretty good amount of money and I will definitely be needing it for my beauty because I'm going to finally be getting my nails done. I've been having these nails for about a month now and I'm kind of over them and I can't wait to get my birthday nails already. So that is going to be for the rollover section of my weekly check-in. And now that I have these, I'm going to go to my weekly view and lay down all of my budget expense stickers. All 
All right, so I have all of my expenses laid down now, and I will talk a little bit more about them as I go through the days, but since I do have some no spend, I'm going to go through with my no spend stickers. So I had a no spend on the third, then on the sixth, so two no spend days on the first week, and then the second week I had a couple more. One was on the 8th, the 10th, 11th, and 14th. So those were all of my no spend days. I had four on this last week, which is pretty good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go back and forth. So the first week is from the first until the seventh. So let's take a look at groceries. Let me just off the bat let you guys know that I have not been meal planning since the month started like whatsoever. And I think it has to do with a lot of things but as you guys can see we've been having kind of like small grocery trips to like Target on like three days of the week for like $43, $10, and $26 instead of just going once a week and getting things for the whole week which has also led us to eating out a bit more which I'm not like 100% proud of but I honestly just have not made the time to meal plan or to even really make home cooked meals for dinner every single night, which I mean, it's fine, but I, I do notice that about my grocery spending um, that we could avoid going to on multiple trips by just going once, but we just haven't been doing that. But okay, for groceries, we have 43. So we have 43 plus 10, 53, and 26, that's 79. So $79 spent on my part for groceries for the first week. And I started with 270, so that means that I have or I had 191 at the end of week one. And then I'll go ahead and divide it by the remaining amount of weeks once we get to week two. But that was, I think, pretty good for the week. But to be honest, I, I think we ate out quite a bit this week. And I know you guys only see like, let's say what I pay because this is based only on my budget, my income and all of that. But Paul does pay for us sometimes when we go out to eat. So we have been going out to eat quite a bit and that's not very good, I think, because one, I'm trying to lose weight or I'm trying to eat healthier, and two, that's just more money that goes towards that, which I always mention or I always tell my patrons that groceries and eating out are going to very much interchange. So if you're spending more on groceries, then you're probably going to be spending less for eating out and vice versa. But for this month, I actually have a lot of it eating out money because I wanted to budget a little bit more for my birthday month. So I'm good budget wise, but I don't know, maybe I'm just complaining right now, but okay, next we have eating out, I believe. Yeah, so for eating out, Let's see, we had, or I only had one expense. I reloaded my Starbucks card with $10. So $10 for eating out on the first week. And I started the month with $150, but then I also rolled over 27. So in reality, after the first week I had remaining one hundred and sixty seven dollars for eating out which is pretty good as you guys can see my eating out and groceries amount are pretty close and then for household i actually didn't spend anything on neither of the past two weeks because we i believe went to costco and purchased toilet paper and napkins so i'm pretty sure we won't need to pick up any household items up until like the end of the month and I'm thinking like detergent, wipes and stuff like that. So even though I did spend I think quite a bit last month for household items, that definitely is going to affect my budget for this month. So in a good way because I'm probably not going to be spending that much but I did not spend anything here 
and remaining I started with 100 and I rolled over four dollars so that is 104 then for beauty I bought myself a lip gloss I've been seeing these lip glosses all over TikTok, and I decided to buy one and try one out for myself so if you guys are wondering which one I'm talking about it is the Maybelline ones if you guys want to know, just let me know and I'll probably, or leave a comment down below and I'll go ahead and let you know the exact name. So I bought one on the 4th and then on the 7th, I believe I bought another one and some hairspray. So in total, I spent $17 for beauty. And for beauty, I started with $225 and I rolled over $45, so that means that at the end of week one, I had $253 remaining. Then for allowance, did I spend anything? Yes, so for allowance, I bought myself some baby fat earrings from eBay. Those were $9. And then from AliExpress, this is actually not the total amount that I spent. Most of what I bought from AliExpress, I got off of my clothing and allowance sinking fund cash envelopes. And then this was just the difference. So I just took it out of my allowance cash envelope which if you guys are wondering which clothes or what clothes I bought from AliExpress, I actually have been seeing a lot of different boutiques and whatnot sell the same things that AliExpress sells. So I just decided to get it for a lot cheaper on AliExpress. The only thing with AliExpress is that everything takes a while to ship to you, but I don't, I don't mind waiting because I already have been buying other stuff for this month, but yeah. <laughs> All of that to say that if you guys were like maybe me filming a haul of what I got from AliExpress or would like me to show it on my Instagram, just let me know. I'll probably end up doing that anyways. But for allowance, I spent a total of $25 on the first week. So $25 here. And I started with, I believe, $100. Yes, so I have 75, or I had $75 remaining. And then I don't have any purple stickers. I haven't pumped gas since last month. So I'm just gonna put a zero here. And I have $30 remaining, which is what I budgeted for this month. And then nothing for unbudgeted, no red stickers either. And then I'm just gonna write a dash there. Now, before I move on to weekly checking in for week two, I want to mention something because I did end up receiving some extra income, which I was not even considering at all because it was something that I won from a Super Bowl pool that I joined in with like my family. And it's crazy because if you guys have been watching me since last year, then you guys know that I actually won, I think, was it the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl pool last year when we had one with my neighbors. And that one was around, I think, like $200. But this time around, there were a lot more people joining in on this Super Bowl pool and the score didn't change. So I won... <laughs> So I won the third and the fourth quarter and I actually ended up winning over a thousand dollars Which sounds so crazy and I honestly could not believe it when I won but I did and so what I've been doing is and I'm pretty sure that if this wasn't my birthday month, I would be a lot more, I don't know, like responsible about what I would be doing with the money. Like, oh, put it all towards like debt or put it most towards like savings and debt. But this time around, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I've been shopping quite a bit with that money, which in reality, I was never accounting for that money in my budget. So I, it does not matter. And I could have, let's say, not end up telling you guys and it wouldn't have made a difference because it has nothing to do with my budget and the numbers that I included in there um, but I did wanted to let you guys know because it was something just crazy that happened and you know I've been treating myself a lot more <laughs> than I probably would have if I wouldn't had won that money but I just wanted to let you guys know that I won over a thousand dollars from a Super Bowl pool on the 7th so 
yeah. Also, aside from that, I mentioned that I was going to receive my stimulus check, which I actually did end up receiving that, and all of that is going to go straight into my student loan debt. I do still have an extra debt payment goal of $900, I believe, in $40 this month, so I'm hoping that I could still reach that. I'm pretty sure that I will be able to since I only have to put around like $300 and something dollars towards that, but yeah, I'm very, very happy about, I guess, winning the money and about receiving the stimulus check because as you guys know, I didn't receive one last time around. And it just makes me really happy that I'm able to put some money towards that this month that maybe I wouldn't be thinking about or accounting for um, in past months. So just wanted to quickly mention that before I moved on. But now let's go ahead and take a look at week two. Let's see, on the 12th, I had an expense for Aldi of 25.19. And this is actually one, I'm just gonna put dashes here by the way that I ended up paying with the rebate card. So with the rebate card, what I'm doing, since it's not like my actual account or I'm not paying with cash, so I can't just round up and you know put the extra um, change in my little pay bank. What I've decided to do is I'm doing exactly how much I spent, then that way I can go ahead and go back. Aside from that, I haven't really used it much, which I feel like I need to get onto using it. But since I do get 5% with my Target Red card, when I go to Target, that's kind of what I've been using. And then that one time that we went to Costco to get groceries, Paul ended up paying for that with his Costco card. So I'm hoping that if anything, I might end up using it for maybe one of my other categories. I don't know. It's kind of just different with the whole rebate card, but I'm definitely trying to make it work. So I spent, how much was it? 25, 19 for groceries. And like I mentioned, I had 191. So remaining, I have 165 with 81 cents, which we have two more weeks left over. And that would mean that I would have to spend around 82, $83 for the next two weeks to be under budget, which I think is very doable, especially if I start meal planning again, which I'm going to try to do this upcoming week. We will go ahead and see, but that's for groceries. Then for eating out, I ended up buying Costco pizza on the 9th. We just bought like two slices for me and Paul. Oh, and I can check off my car payment. I don't know why I didn't do that. As well as my car insurance and my renter's insurance. Yeah. Okay, so Costco pizza was $5. Then on the 12th, I went to Mimi's Cafe with my friend Claudia. That was 28 And then later that night, I, I actually, I don't think I've ever done this before. I've like ate out twice, but it was a Friday and I don't typically cook on Fridays as it is. So me and Paul just ended up grabbing some Wawa Grill. So that was $20. And on the 13th, I ordered Postmates. I had Blaze Pizza and that was $20. So in total for all of my eating out expenses, that equals to $73. And last week I had 167 left for eating out. So now after the $73, I have $94 left, which is still a pretty good amount. Like I mentioned, I might end up going out to eat for my birthday. Not 100% sure. Maybe I'll have a brunch with like friends, but I think $94 is more than enough for that. And then for household, I don't have anything again. I have not spent anything for household. So I still have $104 there. And then for beauty, I think those are those were all my expenses. Yeah, so nothing for beauty or allowance or gas or unbudgeted. <laughs> so for beauty, so I'm just gonna end up writing out the same amounts here, 253, which is a pretty great amount to have, considering that I'm going to get my nails done. 
this upcoming week. 75 left over for allowance and $30 left over for gas. And then just a dash for unbudgeted since I don't necessarily budget an amount for that category. And is that pretty much it? Yeah, so the last thing that I'm gonna do is just check off that I paid my student loan minimum payment of 130.77, but that is going to be pretty much it for the weekly check-in part of this video. I, so far, I'm doing pretty good, and of course, February is a shorter month, so I think that helps a lot with my whole budget, since it's less days that I'm accounting for, but it is my birthday month, like I mentioned, and I had, let's see, I had budgeted an amount for my birthday. Oh, last thing, which I didn't mention, but I do have a yellow sticker here for, which would indicate an other category. That was for my Weight Watchers app that I pay for. And since I am under a promotion, I am paying $13.96. And I always, always, always leave a space on my budget because I always seem to forget something. And this time it was my Weight Watchers app, which I knew that it was coming up. So I just went ahead and added it here and I just estimated that to be $14 and it was $13.96. So that ends up working out pretty well. So this is a category that I don't weekly check in for, but that I do still have a section or a category in my budget. So that's kind of how I go about those things. Now, let's go ahead and move on to my sinking funds because I have had four transactions here. Now these would be all the transactions that I have from my sinking funds here, which I do have a video setting all of these spreads up on my channel as well as I did stuff my sinking fund cash envelopes. But let me tell you guys what I spent my money on. So like I mentioned, I paid the difference of what I bought from AliExpress with my allowance cash envelope, but I did take most of the money out from my clothing and allowance sinking fund cash envelopes. So that ended up being 77 for my clothing and 47 from my allowance. And those were on the 4th. Then on the 6th, I had some car maintenance done to my car because as I mentioned, I think maybe in the beginning of the month that my car, that something was going on with my car's battery. And so I did end up paying $200 for a new car battery, which I know a ton of you guys were telling me to go get my car battery from Costco, but my dad and Paul were the ones who actually took care of all of that. So they just ended up going to AutoZone, which it's okay, I'm, I'm not mad about that. And I think it came out to like 190, but I just sent my dad 200 so that I could pay for his food for helping me like take care of my car maintenance. So that was for car maintenance, $200. And then last but not least, on the 12, I spent $47 for my gifts, sinking fund for some Valentine's Day gifts for my mom and my sister and that was pretty much it. I do love the fact that I changed my birthday sinking fund to a gifts. So now it kind of just covers any type of gifts that I end up buying, whether they be Valentine's Day, holiday, birthdays, and all of that. So really, really happy to have this category and very, very happy to have my cart maintenance one. I think I had... Yeah, 325. So all in all, very, very happy that I didn't have to have an unbudgeted expense for any one of these categories and that I've been saving money in my sinking funds for those specific categories. So that is how my transaction log for my sinking funds is looking. And then last but not least, I do have a couple of business expenses here in my variable income page. I have some shipping fees that I had to pay. On the first, I spent $12.99 for PicMonkey. On the second, $35.30 for some stamps from USPS. On the 10th, both Sparkly Paper Co. as well as Two Little Bees had their anniversary sale, so I definitely wanted to support them, and I purchased a couple of um, stickers from them. So I spent $32.46 for Sparkly Paper Co. and $25.22 for Two Little Bees, which I'm hoping to have both of those orders up in an upcoming haul, so make sure that you stay tuned for those. But with that being said, I hope that I did not 
bore you guys with the amount of accounting that I had to do for the past two weeks of my February monthly budget. If you guys enjoyed this video as always, please do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already as well as stay tuned for my April new releases which should be coming to my shop very, very soon. And hopefully I will get to see you guys on tomorrow's video. Bye guys.